My name is Raymond Nagam. I'm the associate organist here at St. John the Divine. I've been here, this is my fourth year, and I've had the pleasure of playing this marvelous instrument for three and a half years now. It's really one of the great works of art in this country, uh, the organ itself, and this craftsmanship and the skill that went into building it are absolutely magnificent. I started, like most organists I suspect, in my church with a little twist. I grew up in Boston and went to the Boston Archdiocesan Choir School, which is now called uh, St. Paul's Choir School uh, in Harvard Square. And there I sang daily mass uh, and mass every Sunday in the boys' choir and got to study the organ uh, and the piano. I didn't major in the organ in college, but I, after uh, about my junior year, I think, I decided that music was really what I wanted to do, and so I went for the conservatory experience and ended up at Juilliard in New York, and that's where I've been ever since. I'm in the middle of my doctoral degree, and having done my master's at Juilliard, and I'm in my third year of the DMA program at Juilliard, studying with Paul Jacobs. Siegfried Karg Ellert is perhaps a composer who doesn't get the respect he deserves, but I think his time is coming as uh, organists and music lovers have started to appreciate some of the works that have gone unknown for many decades. The Sonatina that I'm playing is a major work, one that's not particularly common to see on a recital program. It's called Sonatina, which implies a small sonata, but this is a major work, about 20 minutes in length in two movements, and Karg Elliot is about the best music I know of for showing off the colors of a large organ. It, it's almost orchestral in texture, and it just begs for different lines to come out on a clarinet or a string or some kind of colorful and unique registration. And this cathedral organ, uh, after four years, I'm still discovering new possibilities for registration, new combinations, and new sounds. My primary duty here at the cathedral is uh, to play the organ during services. I have primary responsibility for the service playing. Our director of music, Kent Tritel, is also a wonderful organist, but because of the layout, he usually has to be down on the floor conducting our choirs while I'm up in the loft playing the organ. And so it's really a two-person job to make a service happen in this building. I do also work with our volunteer choir, our cathedral chorale, and with our choristers on occasion and I'm also the librarian and I run the recital series here. This program includes two transcriptions, the first by Sergei Prokofiev, originally a piano, a set of short piano pieces, music for children. And these are light, humorous pieces. Humor is not necessarily something you'd associate with a huge organ in a vast cathedral, but it works quite well here, and it's a different side of the organ that you wouldn't necessarily get in a religious service, a nice counterbalance to the solemn image of the pipe organ. The second transcription is from Maurice Ravel, his, the slow movement of his piano trio. My friend and colleague at Juilliard, Michael Hay, and I were 
sitting around the practice room one day and he was playing the piano part with a cellist and a violinist. He was doing the original version. And we kind of looked at each other and said, almost at the same time, you know, I think this would make a great organ piece. And so he sat down immediately at the console and started going through with the full score and started going through it, adapting it almost on the spot. Uh, eventually he wrote it out and I'm privileged to play his transcription on this recording. 